still just a little annoyed. J just a little, you know. That death was could have been entirely avoidable. Probably. Maybe. Of course, it could have been if we just didn't go inside this house. This house was a mistake. I don't care if we met Snail Shallon. I don't care if I got a new charm. I don't care if I got a new ability. I died. Hey everybody, <laughs> this is Rune here. And welcome back to another episode of Hollow Knight. Yes, yeah, so in the last episode we've met the Shale Snap. Sh Shale Snowman. <laughs> ah! I can't speak today, I'm sorry. We met the Snail Shaman. <laughs> Shale Snowman, that's funny. Snail Shaman, and we got a new ability, Vengeful Spirit, and we also had our first death, which is the thing that I'm a little annoyed about. Also, I found a little switch. Look at this. Ah, a door. Good thing I noticed it this time and didn't miss it like I did Link's Awakening 15,000 times. Ah, uh, what's this? Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirt Map and purchase a map of this area? Available now for an excellent prize. Cornifer. Uh, yeah, see, this is where we were earlier. We already saw Cornifer here. So we don't have to worry about missing him. But that's what I'm talking about. If you go too far in the story for each area. Like, I, I think it's when you do, uh, when you actually do something specific. But if you go too far, yeah, Cornifer will move. Now he's waiting somewhere else, I think. And if we were to go find him, you know. Oh, now I'm gonna think about it. You know that guy we let out of that jar? That little caterpillar dude? He looks like that crying guy that was up here. I wonder, oh, I wonder, I wanna go check. But I wonder if they're actually connected. Yeah, up here, I, I think this was the right one. Yeah! Yeah, you're happy now. Arigato, uh, sensei-san. I don't know what to call you. Oh, yes, and you're so happy, too. Can I hit you? No, oh, no, I can't. Ooh! I will dance with you. Ah! So I guess we can freeze. Yeah, I'm guessing there's a whole bunch. Look, there's a whole bunch of these things. So I'm guessing we can free a whole bunch of them. Look how cute they are. Ah. Oh. Okay, uh, get out of my way. Seriously. Okay. Well, yeah. So, I guess it wasn't so bad down here after all. That elder guy had no idea what he was talking about. Actually, if he sells us up at the shop up there, I wonder if he'll say anything different. Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually come over here earlier. It's a stone door with a simple lock. Is that where that crest goes? I, mean, I, I guess not. Yeah, we, we have that city crest that we found when we defeated uh, False Knight. And I still don't know where it goes. Ah, see, you see? It's open now. <sighs> Bye for nada. Uh... Um, yeah, I'm a lot louder than the rest of the game's audio, but okay. <laughs> Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. He'll pop back up occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. You miss your husband. Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. Oh wow, um, they have to have some stuff that's not, like, um, it's not maps. I wasn't actually expecting that. Okay, uh, Wayward Compass. Uh, I think this is another badge. Or what, what, they were called badges, right? Were they? Highly recommended. If you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us, try this charm. Oh, charms, not badges. Uh, f uh forgive me. It will pinpoint your location on your map. 
incredibly helpful for finding your bearings in unfamiliar locations. I think that would be a really good one to have, and I do have enough money for it, but let's just look at what else they have first. Uh, you'll need this if you want to update your map with new areas as you explore. It's essential for anyone serious about mapping. Okay, so I think if we buy this, we probably won't have to go uh, buy a map from Corner for every single time. But I don't know, I just... Oh wait, I'm, I'm not even reading these. Bench pin. These pins will mark benches and other useful spots on your map. Use it if you're exhausted and you need, just need somewhere to sit. This would be super helpful. I guess because we have these items available, it doesn't actually mark the stuff on our map as we find them. So yeah, this would be really nice to have. Hmm, cocoon pin. Have you seen those beautiful blue cocoons? I think I have. Yeah, a few, a few of them. Uh, I made these pins so you can keep track of them. The cocoons are pretty, but very delicate. Please be careful around them. Well, yes, I was, I was very careful around them. Yes, uh, my viewers can vouch for me. We definitely didn't destroy them. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, the vendor pin. Use these pins to mark shopkeepers or any other interesting bugs you find on your travels. Every so often, you should pass by and see how they're doing. I'm sure they like that. Ah, oh, that's nice. Stagway pin. These pins will mark the Stagway stations. These will mark the hot springs, I'm sure. Scarab marker. These markers are new additions to the shop. You can use them to mark interesting spots on your map. The color is quite soothing, don't you think? I mean, I guess, but... Why point out that they're a new addition to the shop? I, mean, I guess if your shop's been traveling around. Because I was thinking, like, well, you literally just opened. And this was my first time being in here. And, and like, all of this stuff is new. But I guess if you're, like, a traveling shop people sort of thing. Traveling merchants. And these are new to you guys, too? Yeah, I could see the logic in that. Uh, these markers are new additions to the shop. You can use them to mark instrument. Okay, so... It would be nice to buy something. So, I have 428 uh, geo. So, let's see. What would be the most useful? I think definitely the bench pin. I want to be able to know what these benches are in case we, you know, need them. And then, possibly this one. I don't know for sure if I need the quill right now. Because, like, we haven't done unlocked that many areas. And we could just find corner fur and find, and, you know, get the map. Okay, so let's take a look. Whispers its location to the bearer whenever the map is open, allowing wanderers to pinpoint their current location. See, if you want to know what this means... Oh, no, not that. See, this is the map. We haven't actually checked it out before now, but yeah. If you look, see, that there, there's the bench marker marking the path. Um, the bench, I mean. Yeah, I was reading King's Pass as I said that. Marking the pass. But if you look, there's not a cursor for the Hollow Knight. For the character. Yeah, whatever his name is. If you put this on, then let's, now let's take a look. See, now you can see where you are. I'm like, I don't think this is a big deal when you're up here in Dirt Mouth, but if you were, like, lost down in the bottom somewhere, it'd probably be really confusing if you can't tell where you are. A young couple's just recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems like they're running a map shop, which may excite adventurous types like yourself. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given they're all empty, but they like the look of that one. The way she has to bend just to get to the door... I wouldn't put up with it myself. Uh, well, hey, at least you're not lonely here anymore. You've got someone else living here now, too. To be fair, yes, yeah, so I can see how they might like this one. I feel like it's got, like, a little sign on top for Cornifer's glasses. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do up here, so down into the depths we go. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so, wait, there's something on the map right over here, to the right. We didn't actually go this way before. I want to 
wonder what's over here. Uh oh, it's a big wide room. That means something important. A building. Oh wait, 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 wait. Is this? This might be the place from that opening cut. Yeah, this is the place from that opening cutscene. Temple of the Black Egg. Okay, so there's nothing over here. Can I do anything? Anything? No? Guess I can't do anything here. Well, at least I found it. Okay. And then you can see where we met, where we fought False Knight. That's that room down there. Looks like there was another way I could have gone that I didn't go through. Oh. And then there's a bunch of doors. Wait, I wonder if that quill actually would be a good idea to go get. Because, like, look. If you look, you can see that really tall room that connects to the room with the grubs. We were in there. We went in there, but it's not marked on the map. Maybe it would be a good idea to go up and get that, um, go up and get that. Wait, am I going the right way? Yeah, okay, okay. So those bugs weren't there before, so like, kind of threw me off. Like, wait a minute. Or were they here before and I'm just forgetting? I can't remember. Okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and go back up and get that little quill. Now I see how important it is to get that. Cornifer's maps aren't going to include every room in the area, and there's not going to mark them on your map unless you have the quill. <gasps> Even if you go in there. Oh, I don't have enough money. Ah. Uh, really? Ah! I didn't want to go back in here. No. Well, anyway, let's just move on. I'm sure we can look, look, look on the map again and find somewhere to go. It looks like there's somewhere way over to... There's somewhere way over to the right. I want to go that way. Past the Temple of the Black Egg. Ah, uh, I fell. Okay, okay, up. This game feels pretty lonely so far, though. It just has, like, this this big, dark, uh, empty sort of vibe. Like there's no one down here except more monsters. Oh, but, you know, there was a pin to mark shopkeepers on the map. So I'm guessing there's gonna be someone else at some point. Oh, I couldn't, they couldn't get up there. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Is this it? This goes somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's that guy. Ah! No. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, can I access the stag station from here? See, that's the thing. I don't think there's actually a stag station for Dirtmouth. Not that I saw, anyway. Uh, or maybe, maybe, maybe I just didn't see it. No, I, I actually, there might actually be one there. I, I don't know. Yeah, we didn't really look around that all too well after we, um, after we went back and, like, for the first time and met Cornifer. Oh, not Cornifer, Isada. We met Isada. Like, as the first time going back up, we didn't actually take that much time to look around, so maybe I just didn't see it. Okay, I'm gonna walk back over here. I wanna go explore that area. That was the direction I chose, and that's the direction I wanna go. Ta-da! Oh, no, you don't see anything. No, 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 no. Oh, he lost interest. Ah, no, 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 no. Eh. No, I want to 
defeat this guy. He's in my way. Oh crap, I launched in the wrong direction. Come on. Okay, heal. Anyway, oh, it's one of these grub guys. I rescued another. No wonder he didn't want me coming over here. He was trying to hold that poor bug hostage. Is this where I wanted to go, though? Oh, I guess that wasn't the little area on the map that I could go. Oh, I was thinking that spot that's kind of faded right there in the corner it was like a pathway, but I guess that was just a little container, like aim it air to containment area to keep the grub. But there is, there is a way we can go, so I'm gonna come down here. This way. Oh, crystals. Oh, there's someone actually down here. Hi, you're the first person I've seen down here besides the grubs. Uh, your name, your name, Myla. Oh, bury the knight with her broken nail. Bury the priest. Something about a crown. I, I, I can't remember the rest of that one. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just hum it. Aw. So you're down here singing, enjoying your little thing. Oh, hello again. Are you still running about? Why not join me to down here? There's plenty of wealth in these rocks for anyone willing to put a bit of work in. Those crystals out there are worth a fair bit. And I have a feeling that there's even something even more valuable hidden just a bit deeper in. I can almost smell it. <laughs> You're welcome to join me. There's enough for both of us. Aha, see, that's a comma splice. Again. So if you guys want to know the rule for comma splices, yeah, I, I know. Rune's interrupting the, the cool dialogue to put in a little punctuation lesson. But I am a writing mascot, so I'm just gonna say this real quick. If you've got two sentences that can, like, the two parts of that one sentence, if they can stand alone on their own, like, you're welcome to join me can be its own sentence, and then there's enough for both of us can be its own sentence. If they can stand alone on their own, then you either use a semicolon or make them just two separate sentences and use a period. Or a full stop if you're British. Because British people call periods full stops. It's kind of strange. Well, I guess not strange. It's just unfamiliar. But yeah, because, like, a comma is incorrect there because they can stand alone on their own. See, just a little writing lesson from Rune. I don't actually talk about writing as much as I should. But yeah, now you guys know how to avoid a comma splice. Semicolons or periods, no comma, if they can stand alone on their own. Uh, or if you don't feel like d d digging, you can just sit and sing with me. <laughs> eh. uh, well, do you say anything else? Ah, uh, bury the knight with the broken nail. Bury the lady lovely and pale. Bury the priest in his tattered gown. The bury the beggar in the shining crown. <laughs> Are you su surprised? I remembered the second verse. Lots of time to think uh, while I work down here. Maybe I can even come up with some songs of my own. Oh, you're so cute. This is hard work, but I don't mind. Down here, I can keep working even without sleeping. Oh, without even sleeping. I read it in the wrong order. It's fun. And every once in a while, you can come visit me. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you like the sound of my voice. Oh, see, you're so cute. Okay, uh, are you going to say anything else at all? Okay, no. So we've gone through all of your dialogue options. Oh, oh, elevator. Wait, wait, wait. What's down there? Oh. Is there anything over here? What? what what's down here? Aha! It's a thing. It's a thing. It's one of those soul statues. Oh, 
Oh, it's getting kind of late in this episode, though. Okay, well, we're going to explore this area over here in the next episode. Yeah, I know. I mean, I can't guarantee we can get super far in this area, because I'm not sure if this is where we're supposed to go next. I don't know if I have mentioned, but this game's kind of open world. Like, um, there's some areas where you can't go just yet. Like, there might be some secrets you can't find until you have the item for it. But typically, you can go wherever you want to at any point, especially once you get the upgrade. Like, then, if you get an upgrade, you could go where you need to. Or you could go somewhere else. Because it's open world. So, I can't guarantee they'll be able to go that far in this area, but, um, we'll see. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video as much as I have, then why not leave a like? And then definitely subscribe so you won't miss the next episode. And then also, be sure to turn on those notifications. It's very important. So that way you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.